Hey guys and welcome back or even welcome for the first time if you are new to my channel. Today is going to be another ASOS haul kind of for September October. I've actually had these things bagged up now for a few weeks dying to film this haul so I'm pretty excited to get into this. As always I'm just going to unbag, try on and chat with you about all the pieces that I've found kind of the last few months. So I think I found a few lovely pieces especially for kind of autumn transitional wardrobes. So yeah let's just dive in shall we? Got this bad boy, it's pretty big. Okay, gonna start off first of all with this black embellished sequin bodysuit. I don't know why I picked this up. I think I was thinking of wearing it with something, maybe for fashion week. So that's kind of what intrigued me with this, but it's actually really lovely. This sort of thing, I mean, I wear bodies a lot and the fact it's got this embellishment the sequins I thought could look really quite nice on. And it goes into like a thong body at the back just so it can kind of tuck in in all the right places. So let's give that a try. You girls at university or if you're in college and you're going out, or even anyone older than that, what am I talking about? Anyone that's going out kind of having drinks and somewhere a little bit more kind of glitzy glam. This is actually a really, really nice piece to wear. It's cool with the open back. Nice little feature. So I've just not worn a bra, so I'm hoping you can't see my nipples. But I really love this. I think this is a really lovely feature and it's very kind of in at the moment, this whole very choker style black feel. But I think it's very nice and tucked into black high waisted jeans works really well just because it's quite high here with the banding so you need something that will cover that so high waisted is definitely kind of what you need for this yeah I actually really like it it's got a lot of shape to it there's a lot going on it kind of billows but that's the whole point of the sort of style of it it's not meant to be too fitted I think it's really really nice the next piece I was drawn to because of the colour and because I thought it might look quite flattering on but now I've taken it out of the wrappers I'm not overly sure. So it's just an almost lilac lavender blue blouse with cut out shoulders go down into long sleeves. I'm not sure if it looks a bit twee now with all these ruffles, I thought the ruffles look really cool on the model but I'm not overly sure now. It's got some nice details in the back actually. Like it's a really lovely top, I'm just not sure if it will suit me or not. Let's see. This is, it is lovely and I like the overall style, I'm just not sure of it on me. I think this could look so pretty for so many people for work. I guess like I've worn it with skinny jeans, maybe not with the rips though, but just with a pair of skinny jeans or a pair of very skinny trousers, black trousers or something with some little heels. It could be very sweet but I'm just not sure for me and also I wish it was a little bit more fitted here. Quite, it's quite flowy. I feel for my style it's a little bit too, too feminine and too flowy you know but very very nice very pretty this piece is one of my favorites that i picked up and it's a uh, a jumpsuit that actually carly rowena showed me she stayed over here and she was talking me through what she was going to buy from asos and i was like i need that so i picked it up too so it is this halter neck jumpsuit in a black crepe fabric with this repeat pattern i think these are roses all over it zips up to the kind of waistline so it sort of pulls in nicely there and then goes down into almost plaza wide leg style trousers at the bottom i thought this was so beautiful and it's from asos obviously from a brand called flynn sky which i've never heard of before i thought it might be really lovely this is so 70s the shape is amazing. I never seen anything in this shape, the way it's so fitted and then so fitted here and then straight down to the wider leg and almost completely flares out. I don't have anything like this. I haven't seen anything like it before. It's also got this elasticated back so it's a bit more comfortable and it actually looks quite fitted. I mean, my bum doesn't look quite as amazing as Carly's does. You know Carly Rowena well, you'll know she's got an incredible behind. I don't quite have that, but it is actually quite flattering on me, which is a plus. The only thing with it is this little bit of extra billowing fabric here, but it's not a big deal, I don't think. I actually really like it. I do like that it's so 70s and it's so different. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? I mean, this is the most expensive piece, I think, in this whole haul, so I'd love to know what you think of this particular piece. Often in these hauls I like to kind of bring you items that I feel are really quite popular at the moment in terms of what every store is doing just to kind of find one of that piece that I think you might really like. So I found this part of the whole like shearling denim jacket style and this is so sweet. So this is River Island, it looks really cosy, really really cosy. So 
this fur kind of goes around the collar and a little bit down each side. It's not completely fur, not fur, but not all shielding inside. So it won't be too ridiculously hot. Like they're not down the insides of the sleeves, for example. Just around the edge of the opening, really. But I thought that was a really nice one in terms of this sort of style. I like that a lot. I'm gonna try this on. They're gonna get absolutely boiling here with these lights on. Oh, it's quite an oversized fit. Oh, and actually makes me like it more. Yeah, very oversized fit, seeing as this is my usual size. So that's your overall feel. And then it does feel very, very big though, like too big. It's definitely meant to be my normal size. I mean, I like it, and it's sweet, but I think you just have to kind of wear it open just for the cool sort of style to it, rather than having it shut, yeah, with fasten up, because then it just looks a little bit too big without meaning to, whereas at the moment when you just wear it loose, it kind of looks like you're meant to have done it on purpose. But yeah, I actually really like it. I think a lot of people are really cool. Yeah, I just wish it was a tiny bit smaller. So this is a dress from Ryan that looks like a two-piece. So it has the appearance of a sort of cable knit jumper that goes down into a cable knit midi, maxi, probably midi actually, midi skirt. I really like the way this looked on the model. So I'm hoping it looks cool on me, but it seems like a really nice fabric. This is £48, it's not the cheapest dress ever, but these kind of sweater dresses for winter with lovely high over knee boots always look pretty chic. Look at that go. I like this a lot. It's so comfortable, it's lovely soft fabric. I feel like it could be a little touch more fitted. If it was more fitted here at the waist, and then build it out, it would be even more flattering. But I feel, I feel this is meant to be more for sort of a comfortable feel. This would be amazing for work though, with some little black heels on with it. Yeah, I just kind of wish it would show off a little bit more of my figure because I did buy this in my normal size. So maybe you could size down and maybe try and get it fit a little bit more fitted, I guess. But the overall, like this fits wonderfully, like all this fits really nice in, into the sleeves. But I feel this is a really great autumn work piece for anyone that kind of works in an office kind of environment because it's quite cool, it's quite fashionable, but it also is comfortable, appropriate. Yeah, I like it. Next up is this blouse. Okay, this looks very much like that blue one. So it's a white blouse with this ruffle, very rough cut hem collar. Again, cut out shoulders, but then short sleeves. I think this, I think I might prefer this though, actually to the blue one. And it feels like a really lovely fabric too. General kind of blouse design. I think that could be really nice. This is actually very, very pretty. Almost quite angelic, almost. But it's a polyester fabric, but it doesn't feel that cheap. It feels quite like a lovely material, to be honest. But that just means it drapes quite nicely. But you could also tuck it in as well for a more fitted shape, which I probably would do, knowing me. But yeah, I like the arms. I think the collar is very, very pretty. Very flattering. Got a keyhole at the back. Yeah, what do you think? I do quite like this. I think it is very nice. Okay, I think this style of top I was digging when I bought this. Here is another one. So this is actually from Lipsy and it's a bodysuit. Actually, this is really nice. It's a peach beige bodysuit, again with that very ruffled collar style. But it goes down into the bodysuit so it tucks into kind of black jeans, whatever, and it'll look really lovely. But I very much liked, again, these ruffles down the sides, the pleating down the front as well. I thought it could look very feminine, cutesy, sweet for date nights. Gosh, I really got a lot here. I didn't realise, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm a really, really big fan of this top. I think it's gorgeous with the ruffles and the pleats, like I said, and a really pretty collar. It's very feminine, it's very girly and cute. But then also it's a little bit kind of sexy and you know, I mean, if I tucked in my bra properly, it'd look better. And I just tucked it into a pair of like Topshop Joni jeans just to show you how it fits. But you've got to be quite careful because of this, where this is, you know, showing. You don't really want that showing or it's gonna look like you're wearing massive pants. <laughs> But generally, I really, really like this. I think I'd get a lot of wear out of this, actually. Sometimes when I do these ASOS hauls, I get so stuck into it, and I'm like, what have I not got? What might you guys really love to see? Because as well as doing this for my wardrobe, I pick things for your wardrobes too, of what you guys might really like. Okay, I found a red swimsuit, because I've been after one for a while, and this is lovely. It's very low neck, so we'll see how that looks. I don't know if I've tanned, so I don't know if I want to get my naked body out, we'll see. Um okay this is very very me gosh that's a long neck that's the neck okay this is a black ribbed turtleneck jumper it's just extremely long that's the sleeve i could wrap that around me like a scarf <laughs> that's really 
really long. This just feels very out of shape. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's a very, very long neck. I mean, I, obviously you can roll these, but how much roll neck do you need? Okay, we'll try that. Do you know, it's actually not as bad as I first assumed it may be. I mean, there's a lot of fabric in terms of like your sleeves and whatnot, but it just gives more of that rolled up effect. Same with this, it doesn't look anywhere near as bad, I think, because it's quite a thin fabric. It's got a little bit more drape to it than, say, a chunky wool knit would. Obviously, that would just be up over your head, like a balaclava, whereas this drapes nicely around the neck and just adds more of a funnel effect because of how much there is. But you could just properly fold it down as well to create more of an actual turtleneck shape. It's actually really sweet, it's very soft, fitted, quite flattering. Yeah, I do, I like it. And the bomber jacket seems to be making another revival, it would seem. It was in in summer and it's even bigger, I feel, for autumn this season. So I found this one from ASOS, obviously, I keep saying that, this is an ASOS haul. This is from Noisy May though at ASOS. Black quilted, it feels quite thick, lots of cotton details, the collars and also the sleeves. Quite cool, I like it. Okay, so let's try on this black bomber jacket with my turtleneck. Do you know what? I actually really like it. It's got good shape to it because of the thickness of the fabric. I mean, it's kind of hard for you to see. I hope you can actually see it now because I'm wearing a black top underneath it, but that's sort of my autumn style sometimes. Quite a lot of black on black. I'm literally wearing all black. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually really quite nice and it fits nicely. I just got my usual size. Yeah, I think this would actually be really, really warm as well for the autumn. I really like that. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. Okay, don't quite remember getting this actually, but this is almost like a pinafore style jumpsuit. It goes down to very wide culottes at the bottom. You can't even see that because it's just so black and big. And there's two straps come down together at the back into one long strap that attaches a little button. A bit of a different choice, but it could be great. There's something about this that I really like. It's very cool, you know. I imagine someone that's very creative and kind of design-led would wear this and just look amazing in it. It's very cool. I mean, you can see my bra here. I just wanted to show you how it looked like without anything else on under it. But with something else on under it, like a lovely gray sweater, this could look amazing. I really love the culotte style, actually, because it almost looks like it billows out into a bit of a skirt because it's so drapey and wide leg. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna try it on with a jumper. This is it with a jumper on underneath it. I mean, you could wear black, you could wear a white top. You could wear any colour you wanted actually because it's black. This is probably the way I would wear it more so. I mean, I do, I actually like, I don't know if I like it more without something under it, but just to show you how you could wear it. I think it's actually really lovely. Just a nice layering piece for autumn. Yes, thumbs up. By the time you watch this actually, I will have already been to Paris. But at this point, I'm looking for a gold dress because I'm going to L'Oreal Gold Obsession Party, which again, you'll probably see on Snapchat. Anyway, this is kind of like me beforehand looking at dresses, so I bought two. First of all, this one. They only have this in a size eight though, and I haven't tried it on yet, and I'm hoping to God it fits me because I really, really want to wear this. Beautiful. Goes down into a full on maxi skirt. I'll need some really tall heels for this to keep it um, the right length, but the sweetheart neckline is to die for. Please, please, please fit. I love this dress. How oh, gorgeous is it and the shape? It's quite straight all the way down, but it has a lot of movement and it's so pretty. I feel like I probably will be hoisting it up a lot throughout the night, that's the only thing. I feel like I could do with just like a centimetre off each side, but I think I can probably manage it for the sake that I don't have another dress and I actually really love it. Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. But if not, I have a backup and this is a jacquard fabric. Ooh, look at those colours. Gold, creams, dusty, rose, pink. Again, I quite like the, the sweetheart neckline, but this goes down to a big skirt. It's short at the front and long at the back. So it's a pretty statement, it's a pretty cool dress. So let's give that a try as well. Actually, I really like this. I think it needs good steam, and it does feel, for six, it does feel like it's falling down. I mean, I don't have the biggest boobs in the world, but still, I'd hope it would be more fitted. But look at that shape. I literally feel like I'd be going to like Cinderella's ball in this. What do you think? I really like it. 
At this point you'll probably know which of the dresses I went for, but hopefully you liked the one I picked. If not, I might actually have chosen something different from these, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Let me know though down below in the comments which was your favourite piece that you saw here. As always, everything that I mentioned and I've shown you here will be linked down below with direct links straight to go and purchase them if you like them, as always. If you did enjoy this though, please do hit the subscribe button, I'll put it on the screen, probably up here. Just click the subscribe button and you can come along for two videos a week, Wednesday and Sundays it'd be amazing to have you please like the video if you did like it helps me out a lot and I will see you soon bye guys Mwah.